little shirt. Um, That's Ty's honey shirt. This is actually my shirt. Girls can wear camo too. Talon, will you tighten my necklace? Because it's like sad. Why is your hair so messy? It's a very quick makeup video. Like for days you don't have time to fix your hair. It looks better. Are you recording? Mm hmm. What's up guys? So today we're going to just do a very simple, easy, everyday, realistic makeup tutorial. I don't do very much on a daily basis, so this should be pretty easy to follow. I have a little pimple right here. We're going to get that covered up here in just a second. First, I'm going to start out with this Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This preps my under eyes for concealer. And then we're just going to go in with my ColourPop All Star Primer. This helps my makeup last all day long, smooths out the face to where it's an even canvas for your foundation. And of course, a pore primer. I have holes in my face, around my nose, a little between my brow and my chin. So I'm going to put this all over there so my makeup does not sink into those and cause them to get worse. Doing this just helps my skin just look a little bit more flawless, I guess you could say. Now we're going to take care of this guy right here hanging out. This is a couple extra steps that I don't always have to do, but I had one pop up. So now I'm going to take this LA Girl Green Concealer. I love this stuff. It's super, super cheap. I will list the price right here. And just paint wherever I have any redness, any little flare-ups. And doing this is going to counteract that red from coming through. I'm going to actually put my concealer over it and I just grabbed my Too Faced Born This Way is what I'm going to use underneath my eyes here in a little bit just to kind of help that green from coming through if my foundation happens to wear off through the day. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite foundations and it's super fast and easy to use. As you can see, it's just, you know, paint a few little stripes on the face and it blends out like a dream. Oh yeah, it's the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick, since I forgot to mention the name. Paint your face however much you want. It blends out amazingly, so I find it's very forgiving if you happen to, you know, paint too many stripes on your face like I kind of tended to do, but I had a couple of flare-ups, so I just wanted a little bit of extra coverage. I am using a Morphe sponge. It's the one that's tapered on one side and it's got the flat on the other. I find it's really, really good to use for foundation and concealer. It's only like six, seven, eight bucks maybe. So here's what the concealer, or here's what the foundation looks like up close. It just looks like skin. It's not super mattifying. It's not super dewy. It's just a nice satin formula. So what I'm going to do, since this was a teensy bit too light for me, I felt like, I'm just taking my darker ColourPop stick and blending that out, kind of like contouring. Again, I don't always do this on a daily routine, but I just threw it in there because I felt like it was a teensy bit too light. Now I've got a little bit more color on my face. So let's move on to concealer. Same routine. The Born This Way by Too Faced is my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to conceal all that darkness underneath, all the veins on my eyelids, bring it down my nose, chin, all the typical areas that I tend to do. And then I'm going to just dot a little bit more over that big raised pimple. It looks good, right? Yeah. Make sure you blend it out. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. Don't use it dry. It'll work much better. I turn it to the flat side to really get in my creases under my eyes. And then after this, we go in with our setting powder. And I've been absolutely loving the Too Faced Born This Way Urethial Setting Powder. It, this combo between the concealer and powder worked amazing together. And I have yet to find another setting powder to replace this. And I've tried several new brands this past year. So I'm just going to use my damp beauty blender, dip it in the powder, and then pat that. Pretty much everywhere I put that concealer. I'm not super oily, so I don't have to set my entire face. Definitely my eyelids because they will crease from putting that concealer on. Now I'm just going to do a little baking on my smile lines just to help those wrinkles not come through the foundation as fast. And then dust away after they've set there for a little bit. Now I'm going in with my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is a very inexpensive product and I love, love the tone of this bronzer. It's not orangey. It's not too ashy. It's just perfect for my fair to light skin tone. Also, I am using a Morphe R2 brush to apply this. I've used this probably for a good two years. This brush has lasted. It's great quality and applies it in the right spots where I want my bronzer. Now I'm just dusting a little bit of that bronzer on my nose to just do a small amount of contouring because I just feel like it helps slim it down just a little bit without going crazy into the whole contouring technique method. 
And after that, we're going to pick up my Morphe blush palette. This is all I'll ever need for the rest of my life for blush. I feel like I love these tones. I'm just picking up the two brown shades at the bottom, dusting them all over with a Morphe E4. And after that, I always just grab my beauty blender and just tap it kind of around the edges where I place my bronzer and my blush, just so it just kind of melts into my face and there's no harsh lines. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. This is going to be super, super quick. This has been my eye routine on a daily basis for the longest time ever. All I do is get my bronzer that I used with a fluffy blending brush, dust it all in my crease. You can see right there the difference that makes. It just ties, you know, the colors together on your face. Makes your eyes pop a little. This is a shadow from ColourPop. Their Super Shock shadows are amazing. They're buttery. They don't crease. You can use your finger. I mean, what more can I say about them? They're $5, you guys, and they are stunning stunning. So I do grab a brush just to kind of get into the corners of my eye since I do have hooded lids, but sometimes I totally skip the brush and just use the finger. Now to my eyebrows, I always dust something on them. Dust. I always draw something on because I just, oh, eyebrows make such a big difference. It doesn't take me very long. If you're new at eyebrows, it may take you a lot longer. You get better, you get faster the more you do it. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer that I'm using in the shade Caramel. Once I found this guy, it made my eyebrow routine go a whole lot faster. So right now, I would say it probably takes me about two minutes to do my brows. When I first started, obviously it probably took me a lot longer, but again, practice makes perfect and it makes a big difference, you guys. A little bit of eyebrows goes a long way. Now I'm going in with the Master Chrome Highlighter from Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. This is the best highlighter from the drugstore. So typically what I like to do after I dip my brush into the highlighter, I spray it with my setting spray just to kind of intensify it, make it shine a little more. So if you don't like a whole lot of shine, skip that step. Just dust a little on. It makes your skin look glowy, youthful, and not just like a flat, matte face. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution black liner pen. I just throw on a teensy bit of this just to make my lashes look a little fuller. And then I throw on my mascara, my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, my absolute fave. I'm just picking up that plunge color that we threw on our eyes, and I'm just going to tap that in the corners and then below my brow just for an extra little beam of highlight. We are finally almost done with the face. I'm just going to add a little lip liner from NYX. I will list the shade and the exact name of it below in the description box. I always have to line my lips because they're uneven, and I like a little bit of fullness to my lips, but I don't want to pay for fillers. So... As you can see before and after right there. Now this is my latest find from the drugstore, the Maybelline Sensational, I think is what they're called. Lipsticks, this shade is stunning. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect natural nude and it's got a little bit of sheen to it so it's not super matte and it's not super glossy. And then we're gonna finish with our Morphe setting spray. I love the fine mist that this puts out. It's not super wet and it dries really quick. And that completes this everyday makeup routine, you guys. I know I had a little pimple right there, but you know, that's life. But the face still looks super flawless, soft, just how we want to look on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, and I will see you next time.